I'm going to teach you how to play a Windwalker Monk with this super quick guide. Whether you're trying to spec out for the first time, or you're a seasoned vet looking for a quick refresher, this is the guide for you. In just 5 minutes or less, you'll be channeling your inner Bruce Lee, throwing fists across the Dragon Isles in no time. We'll be covering stats, talent builds, your rotation, and of course what gems and enchants you'll need to stay ahead of the curve. But before we begin, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so that you'll always be notified when I drop a new video. So with that being said, strap on your black belt and let's begin. Windwalker monks are one of the most insanely mobile DPS specs in the game. They are a jack of all trades when it comes to what they can and can't do, they have really strong burst DPS, and when it comes to mythic plus and rating, they're above average. However, because of this, like I said, they're a jack of all trades, but that also means they're a master of none. They lack proper immunities, and one thing that a lot of people seem to not like about them is they do have a lot of buttons to push. When it comes to your stats, generic stat weights are kind of an outdated way of determining gear upgrades. Instead, now you want to sim your character with a combination of simulation craft and raid bots. Both of these tools will provide you with the most accurate way to determine if something is an actual upgrade for you. Do keep in mind that this advice is mainly focused on max level players. The only caveat to this is that if you're still leveling. In that case, I would say just focus on swapping out gear when you find something that's a higher item level. Don't know how to sim your character? I've got a video right here that will explain how to do that. For your talents, I've got three builds to recommend. The first one is a pure single target build, which is really good for raiding. The second one is for cleave fights, and the last is for pure AoE, which is great for Mythic Plus. So here is the pure single target build, and I'm just going to highlight a couple of key talents here. So the first one we're going to talk about is Close to Heart, which is really great because it's going to buff you and your allies, giving you guys 8% healing taken from all sources. And then on the spec side, we're making sure to go down and pick up Skyreach, and then we're kind of going down the full right side of the tree and making sure that we're picking up Feyline Stomp and the passive Feyline Harmony. Now let's take a look at the cleave build. So on the class side, it's pretty much the exact same, but then on the spec side, instead of going to the far right, we're gonna be taking some talent points on the left side, like Dance of Chi, Crane Vortex, and Fatal Flying Guillotine. And then lastly, for the AoE slash Mythic Plus build, again, the class tree side is pretty much the exact same, but then on the spec side, instead of picking up Serenity, we're going Storm, Earth, and Fire, and then we're going further down on the left side to pick up Bone Dust Brew. Links for all three of these trees will be in the description of the video. So let's begin with our single target rotation, and we'll start with the opener. So right before the pull, you're going to cast Expel Harm, and then right as you pull, cast Chi Wave, then Expel Harm again, summon White Tiger Statue, invoke Zhu Yen, Feline Stomp, Tiger Palm, Serenity, Strike of the Windlord, Fist of Fury, Rising Sun Kick, and then go right into your single target rotation. And then here's the priority list for your single target rotation from the most important down to the least. Invoke Zhu Yen, the White Tiger, Touch of Death, Expel Harm if you're at 6 Chi and you're about to cap on energy, Tiger Palm if you're at 5 Chi or higher and you're about to cap on energy, Feyline Stomp if the targets do not have the Feyline Harmony debuff, Rising Sun Kick with Zulen's Battle Gear crit buff, Strike of the Windlord, Rising Sun Kick, Fists of Fury, Blackout Kick, Spinning Crane Kick, Chi Burst, and Feyline Stomp. And now let's talk about the AoE rotation. So if the opener for AoE is a little different. So again, before the pull, we're gonna cast Expel Harm, Chi Burst on pull, Summon White Tiger Statue, Invoke Zhu Yen, Bone Dust Brew, Storm Earth and Fire, Tiger Palm, Strike of the Windlord, Fist of Fury, Tiger Palm, and then you're gonna do your normal AoE rotation, which looks like this. Invoke Zhu Yen the White Tiger, Touch of Death, Expel Harm, Tiger Palm, Strike of the Windlord, Spinning Crane Kick, Fists of Fury, Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, Spinning Crane Kick, and Chi Burst. Here's a list of the gems, enchants, and consumables that you guys should be using. Always try to pick up the higher quality ones because they're going to be more powerful than the lesser quality ones. 
unless they're super expensive and you're poor. And then in that case, just get the cheaper ones. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys got something out of this one and that it's inspired you to picking up Windwalker because they're pretty fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thank you all for checking out this video, and with that, I'll see you guys later.